Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Nothing delights us more than an indigenously developed defense tech getting inducted into our armed forces. So let's kick start Monday with some really good news. Helena, the helicopter launched NAG anti-tank guided missile has completed all trials of Indian Army which is not an easy task and it itself speaks about the quality and the effectiveness of this missile. As per DRDO, all the issues with the minimum range had been sorted out and the integration with other weapons on the platform is over. Army is now in the process of issuing the acceptance of necessity for Helena. Once AON is issued, the RFP would be initiated followed by some firing trials from the first production lot by the Army. Dr. Sood, the director of Helena and Dhruvastra at TRDO told that launcher and missiles are ready. There are some human machine interface to be realized which are going on now. Initially, Indian Army will need 500 Helena missiles and 40 launchers. Each missile is going to cost close to rupees 1 crore. The Indian Air Force had also asked for the feasibility of integrating Helena on the soon to be inducted light combat helicopter LCH. Once integrated, it would further increase the scale in production of the missile and reduce its per unit cost. Helena also has a very good export potential. Talking about Helena, it is a third generation fire and forget class ATGM mounted on an indigenous advanced light helicopter ALH and has a minimum range of 500 meters and a maximum range of 7 kilometers. The missile has single shot kill probability of 90%. It has 10 years of maintenance free shelf life. It weighs around 43 kgs and has a warhead carry capacity of 8 kgs. It uses tandem shaped charge high explosive anti-tank heat warhead. The missile uses passive imaging infrared IIR homing seeker for guidance towards the target in day or night. The IIR seekers in the missile can also be replaced with millimeter wave active radar seeker. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.